Hey, what's going on everybody? It's ETA Prime back here again with another LaunchBox for Android tutorial. And today I'm going to show you how to add more themes to LaunchBox for Android. So this is actually a pretty simple process, but uh, real quick, we'll just head in here to our Game Boy section. And the three little dots in the top right hand corner, if we choose this, we can go to Change View. These are the themes we have pre-installed right now. We've got Alicia Text View, Banner Box Lite, basic text view, boxes grid, and so on and so on. Personally, I love the wheel with details, or you could go with the two column. It's really up to you, but there are a few more to download from the forum. I will leave a link in the description for the Android custom themes over on the forum. And right now, from what we don't have pre-installed, we've got Pure from Farron, Emblem, and Unified Light. Now more will be added down the road and hopefully more developers jump on board with creating awesome Android themes for the Android version of LaunchBox. But right now we've got a few extras to choose from and we can download them and install them fairly easily. Now this can all be done on your Android device if you want to, but one main thing that you're definitely going to need is some type of extraction software. Personally, I would use RAR. There's also 7-Zip, but for this video, I'm going to make it super easy and I'm going to download all of these on my PC, extract them there, and then transfer them right over. Personally, that's the way I like to do it. But if you're familiar with the Android file system and how to extract zips on Android, you can always do it that way directly on your device, be it a tablet or an Android phone. But like I mentioned for this, we're going to do it on our PC because it will make it a lot easier on some people. Real quick, we do have a specific spot where we need to place these new themes. Now I'm just going to open up a file manager here. And uh, if you're using internal storage for your launch box for Android build, we are going to go to main storage and right in your root directory, you're going to see a folder called launch box. And inside of here, we've got themes. This is where we're going to place our themes that we download. Now, personally, I use a micro SD card and I've got everything set up there on a micro SD card. So I would go over to SD card, launch box, themes, and this is where I'd place mine. But I just wanted to kind of get that across. You know, some people might not be using a micro SD card, but for this video, that's what I'm using. Like I mentioned, this is really straightforward, but we're going to be doing it from our PC. So let's go ahead and move over there now. So first things first, since we're doing this from our PC, let's make sure we can just connect our phone or our tablet. Go ahead and plug mine in. You'll probably receive a prompt on the tablet itself to allow access. As you can see, my tab S8 is now ready. If I head over here, we can see this is my tablet. We've got the internal storage and my SD card. If you're on internal storage, we're going to find launch box, which is located here. We've got our themes folder, and this is where we're going to place everything. But since I'm using a micro SD card for all of my stuff here, I'm going to go to my micro SD card. We'll find that same folder, themes, and here it is. Next thing we need to do is download the new themes. Link for this is in the description. So right now we've got the pure theme from Farron. We've also got the emblem theme from Farron. And one of my favorites is the unified light. So uh, what we're going to do here is just download unified light. We'll download this file and we'll go ahead and do it for the rest of them. Okay, so now that we've got the new themes downloaded, let's go ahead and find them. They're going to be in my downloads folder here. And we've got Pure, Emblem, and Unified Light. We want to extract these. And personally, I use WinRAR, but you could always use 7-Zip if you want to. And what I'm going to do here is snap this over to the right-hand side just to make it a little easier on me. We're going to go ahead and extract the first one. Extract here. If you're using WinRAR, choose Extract here. That way we have the proper folder structure. So if you go in here, you can see that it's not inside of a parent folder. We've got the Launching Views, Game Views, and Filter Views right here. Now if you do extract this the wrong way, I'll show you exactly what I'm talking about. We're just going to right click and Extract To. This is not what you want to do. You can see that we've got the Emblem folder, and we've also got the Emblem folder inside of here but this is the one we need to put in the correct location on our SD card or internal storage in our LaunchBox themes folder. So I would highly recommend just using extract here. So we're going to go ahead and do this and we'll go with unified light. And I just double check just to make sure. So we're good to go with these three new themes. 
Now we're going to head back over to our Android device. Remember, LaunchBox, Themes, and basically, we just want to place these right here. Give it a second for everything to transfer over. And once we're finished with that, we've got the new themes on our Android device. We can head back over to LaunchBox for Android and use those new themes we just installed. All right, so back at my Android device, we're going to start up LaunchBox. And we'll go ahead and swap out a theme. So let's do uh, the Game & Watch. Right now I'm using the Alicia theme, but from the drop down, we're going to go to Change View. And as you can see, our newly added themes are listed here. So we'll go with Pure for this one. We'll back up. Let's go with Game Boy. I'm using the box's grid right now, but again, from the top right hand corner, change view. And for this, I'm going to go with, let's do the Unified theme. Unified light, vertical wheel. One of my favorites. I mean, I think it looks super clean. Love the way this one looks. And finally, we added one more here, so let's go with Super Nintendo. Using the default wheel theme here. From the drop down, change view. The last one we added was Emblem. There you have it. This is also a really nice theme, especially for a larger display. But yeah, it's actually really simple to add new themes to LaunchBox for Android. And definitely keep an eye out on the forum because more will be added. Right now, we've got a few to choose from right out of the box, but we can download those extras from the download section linked in the description. But that's going to wrap it up for this one. We had a few people asking about adding new themes to Android, so I figured I'd go ahead and make a quick one. If you have any questions, let us know in the comments below. And like always, thanks for watching.